right, so this is all that is going on the booster. So I've already opened this up because I had to check and make sure everything was good in it. But this is going to be y'all first time seeing it. And I'm also about to weigh it to see how much it weighs before we put it on the bike because I didn't see it on Brock's website how much this thing weighs. So let's get this open. There we go. A nice pentacarbon. So everybody else is going with the um, the CTs, but I didn't want to be like everybody else, so I was hesitating on buying the exhaust, and I didn't see any of the new Gen 3s with this exhaust on it, so I wasn't sure what it looked like, so I was hesitant on buying it. And it was another brand that I kind of wanted for the bike, but they don't have anything in stock. So just went with this. I didn't think black would look good on the bike, so that's why I went with this. But I think it's going to work out. And, you know, when the other exhausts come back in stock, we'll order it, put it on the bike, see how we like it. If we don't like it, we can always go back to the pentacarbon. So let's go ahead and dig everything else out of here. And then we're going to weigh everything, obviously piece by piece like we always do. And these are stainless steel exhausts, so the pentacarbon is not titanium. I wish they would make a titanium version, but they don't. But this is stainless steel, which um, will do for what we need it to do. But we're going to weigh it, and then we'll compare it to the claimed weight of the uh, CT. So hold on, let me get set up. All right, so we got all the pieces laid out now. And this is the hardware bag. So we're gonna weigh this first. So let's turn on our hanging scale. We got rigged up up here and it's zeroed out. Point three seven. what we got for the hardware, okay. Header pipe. Two point six, two point six seven. Zeroed out. All right. Two point three Point six seven for the right as well. Mid pipe, and it does has the it does have the plug in it. Um, I can't take that out right now, but whatever. Oh, hold on. Zero. All right. Mid pipe is one point four seven. And last but not least, the muffler. Alright, reset. And 2.50. 2.50. So. All right, so that's what we got for the Brox Pentacarbon exhaust for the Busa. And the weight, or the totals will be on the screen. Next time you guys see me will be tomorrow, and I will be pulling the Busa apart to start getting that installed. Catch y'all in the morning. All right, so it's the next morning, and we weighed the Brox Pentacarbon yesterday. You can see we got this over here, and these were the weights. So total weight came out to 9.68 pounds, which is not bad. I have to look up and see what my, for instance, the grades and stuff weight um, on those bikes over there. But I think 9.6 pounds is actually lighter 
than what Brox advertised the CT for uh, on this bike, which the CT is a full titanium exhaust and that is stainless steel. So that's a little bit surprising to me. But what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna start taking the front fairings off so that we can get the exhaust off this bike and get the pentacarbon installed. Now, I'm probably gonna end up leaving the, the fairings off because I'm also gonna take the tank off to do the air filter and stuff like that, but I'm I'm gonna do the do the air filter in another video, and then the fairings I'll probably leave off until they get the new fairings in to replace them as well. So let me see if I can get y'all set up on the tripod, and then um, yeah, I start taking this thing apart. So we got the overfill bottle off and drained. Got this off. So next thing up is to start getting the radiator off. And these look like 10 millimeter bolts too. And I'm gonna need an extension for the top one. So let me get that set up. That bolt head is like bent that way a little bit up towards me now, but yeah. First time this is coming off. All right, so every single bolt is bent. Every one. <sighs> Fucking A, man. Let me wipe my sweat off. All right, so after you know talking to ricardo about these apparently this is not from the bike falling over this is actually from the bolts being over tightened from the factory on the flanges and it caused the bolts to bend that's why they're all bent and not just like this side or whatever so i already got these bolts on order it's probably gonna be a couple days before they get here so for now i just finished getting this exhaust off and then weighing everything and then whenever these bolts come in we'll work on getting the new exhaust put on so for now let's go ahead and finish getting this thing out
so the exhaust is off. Now, so on the oil cool, I kind of scraped the back side of a little bit. So I'm gonna try to straighten out some of the fans on there. But as far as the removal go, that's pretty much it. I'm um, inspecting here, make sure nothing's cracked or whatever from those bolts being bent. Fix those fans and yeah. Um, and then I'll get back with y'all when I start winning. All right, so that's just all the OEM exhaust pieces right there. So the two mufflers, the two heat shields, the lower bracket, which we won't need no more. And then the whole header and cat. And then this is all the bolts. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna weigh these bolts. All right, we zero it out. Take it. Look that there. We got 0.42. So 0 0.42 for the bolts. And we're gonna do this bracket. Bracket is 0 0.44. All right. Heat shield. So this heat shield doesn't have the screws in it. They were in the bag in the grommet. The other one has the screws in it. So it's gonna obviously weigh a little bit more probably okay all right so 0 0.60 see this one's got the screws still in it um how are we gonna get this one to hang all right, um, I have to punch one of these out. And then we'll just weigh it. Wait, re-weigh the bag when we put, them, put it in there. But, all right, so this is this one with two bolts in and the one out. Uh, zero that back out. So 0 0.79, all right. So before we get to those, let's uh, let's reweigh this bag. So let's put this bolt in here. Get all in there. And then we're gonna zero that out. And hook the bag back on. 0 0.46. Onto the bazookas. See, can we just hook this under? Actually, hold on, I gotta zero it out. All right, zero it out. And we got 11.91 pounds. We got 12.0 pounds. This big sucker. All right, let's All right, zero it out. It's showing, wait, hold on. 17.57, but I want to redo it because I was still trying to keep it from moving. Take the weight off it. Zero it out. Yep, all right. Let it go. All right, so 17.57 it is. So 17.57. All right, so in conclusion, switching to an aftermarket exhaust, you shave over 30 pounds of weight off your 2022 Suzuki Hayabusa. <laughs> but no, for real guys. So this exhaust total weighed, the OEM exhaust weighed 43.77 pounds. This is everything right here. And as you can see, 
our uh, pentacarbon exhaust weighs 9.68 pounds. So we saved a total of 34.09 pounds just by switching the exhaust. So if you add that up with the 10 pounds we saved with our previous video, our previous mod we did, we had about 44 pounds of saved weight already off of this bike. And um, pushing the bike with no exhaust on it, I can't really even feel that 30 pounds going to be, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie, like it still feels heavy as crap, but I know, you know, once, you know, we start diving into it and taking more weight off it, it'll, it'll lighten up some more. But for now, she's still a big girl, but we are getting her down to below 500 with no fuel. So we're getting pretty close, but that's going to do it for this video. So the next video y'all see on the channel is going to be me putting a pentacarbon back on the bike once we get those header bolts in to do that. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, thank y'all for checking out the video. Thank y'all for supporting the channel and I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.